Hi, I'm Ivan from Webwash, and in this video, I will show you how to use Views Infinite Scroll. The Views Infinite Scroll module allows you to change the default pager on your view. So instead of having a pager at the bottom of the view with a next and previous button, Views Infinite Scroll can be configured to load content by just clicking on a button. And it can also be configured to load content as you scroll down. And this is all done using Ajax. So the user won't have to reload the page. So in this video, I will show you how to use Views Infinite Scroll on your custom view. So with that, let's jump right in. Let's start things off by first downloading the module and we will download it using Composer. But if you wanna learn more about the module, just head over to drupal.org slash project slash views underscore infinite underscore scroll. And you can learn more about the module over there. So to get started, let's download it using Composer. So what I'll do is I'll jump over into my terminal and I will type in the following composer command. Well, I'm gonna paste this in because I don't want to type it. And that'll be composer require Drupal slash views underscore infinite underscore scroll. So let's just click on enter and composer will go ahead and download it. Now that the module has been downloaded, let's jump over to our Drupal site. And this Drupal site is a stock standard Drupal site. I pretty much say that at the beginning of all of my videos. And the only thing I've done is I have generated about 50 test articles. And I've generated these test articles using Devel Generate, which is part of the Devel module. So the first thing we wanna do is make sure we have Views Infinite Scroll installed. So go to Extend and search for Views, and also make sure you have Views and Views UI installed. Uh, views Infinite Scroll only works with views, obviously. And here you can see I've got both views and views UI installed. Let's install views infinite scroll and click on install. And now that the module has been installed, let's go to structure views and let's create a basic view, which lists out all of the latest articles. So to do that, just click on add view and I will add latest as the view name. And from the view settings, I will leave show as content and then type of, I will select article. And then under page settings, I'll check create a page and I'll leave everything as it is, but don't worry about making sure you've selected the correct options here. You can always change these options later on. So click on save and edit. And let's just click on save one more time to make sure it has been saved. And let's go to this view. So I will open up a new tab and then go to slash latest. And here you can see a teaser listing of all articles. And I believe that it's showing 10 articles at a time. And then if we scroll all the way to the bottom, we can see this basic pager right here. Let's now go ahead and configure views infinite scroll. And what I'll do is I will remove this page get parameter. Then let's go back to our view, then click on use pager and you should see infinite scroll. If you can't see infinite scroll, make sure you've installed the module. So select infinite scroll and click on apply and click on apply for now. And we'll cover these options in a second. But what you need to do now is go to advanced and make sure you switch on Ajax. So let's go ahead and check use Ajax and then apply. Then click on save. If we go back to our view and refresh, and we scroll right down to the bottom, we should see this load more button. And if we click on it, it'll load up another 10 items. And if we keep clicking on it, you can see that it's loading up the 10 items using Ajax. At this point, it's been configured to load up 10 items at a time, but that option can be changed. And to change it, let's go back to our view and let's edit our pager. And then from the items per page, it is currently set to 10, but you can change it to uh, 50 to 100. And if you set it to zero, it means no limit will be used. So it'll load up absolutely everything. Uh, be careful with that option. You may bring down your server, especially if you have thousands and thousands of content. But if you wanna change how many items are loaded up, change it from this option. 
Another thing you can do from this configuration is change the button text. So by default, it is set to load more, but let's go ahead and change it to view more. So let's go ahead and change it to view more, click on apply, then click on save. And if we refresh, you can see now the button is called view more. And if we click on it, it loads up another 10 items. We can even add in custom tokens into the button text. So let's go back to our view and configure the pager. And here you can see the three available tokens, which is next page count, remaining items count, and also the title. And let's put in the following text. And I will copy this in because I did prepare it earlier. So this will show the text load with the next page count more, and then, and then the text more then it'll show us the, the title in brackets. So let's click on apply and then save. And if we go back to our view and refresh, you can see our button text is load 10 more total of 50. So the ability to add tokens into your buttons just makes things a little bit more interactive. I mentioned earlier that you can change how many items are displayed when you click on uh, load more, but views infinite scroll can be configured to expose a drop down where users can select how many items should be displayed. Think of this as an exposed filter in views. So to configure that, let's go back to our view and then edit our infinite scroll pager, scroll down to the exposed options area, and then make sure you check allow user to control the number of items displayed in this view. So if we check that, we can change the label, which is by default set to items per page. And then below that, we can add in the actual options and this will populate a dropdown. So right now, users will get a dropdown with five, 10, 25, and 50. But if you want, you can add in 100, which will allow users to load up 100 items. I won't do that because I only have 50 articles. So let's just leave it at five, 10, 25, and 50. So let's just click on apply and then save. Then if we go back to our view and let's scroll back to the top, now we get this drop down option. If we change it to five and click on apply, we should get one, two, three, four, five items. And then here you can see load five more. If we click on that, it'll load up one, two, three, four, five items. So this option is useful for users because it allows them to control how many items should be returned in the view. The final feature I wanna show you is how you can configure views infinite scroll to load content as the user simply scrolls down the page. Now to configure this, let's go back to our view for one final time in this video, then configure the infinite scroll pager. Then in the infinite scroll option, make sure you check automatically load content. If you read the description below it, which is automatically load subsequent pages as the user scrolls. This means that as the user scrolls down, it'll just load up more content. If we click on apply, and then click on save. And let's go back to our view and refresh. And if we scroll down, let's just scroll down and I'll try and scroll nice and slow towards the bottom. We should see a little loader up here. There you go. You probably just missed that. And you can see more contents getting added. If we scroll a bit more down, we can see also a little bit more content is getting added and that content is getting added as we scroll down. Now, one thing to be aware of if you are using this feature is that if you have thousands and thousands of articles, as the user scrolls down the page, they will never ever be able to get to the footer links. And this can be a problem if you have important links in your footer, such as FAQ, contact us, knowledge base, or support. So just be aware of that, especially if you have a lot of content. Some users may not be able to get to your footer because content is being loaded.
So just be aware of that. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about Drupal, WordPress, or other web technologies, head over to webwash.net. And also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Anyway, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.